up in West Palm Beach, Southern Florida, isn't that right? Long time cameraman, 15, 20 years we've been together. Wayne Baker, 20, what do you think Wayne? 20, 20, Look, 20, yeah. he still has his hair, I don't, I can't believe this, it's unbelievable. Came down here, we're gonna for the Miami International Boat Show. We'll be doing the Suzuki booth, maybe do a little shit in the Keys maybe afterwards. Maybe try to get some, you know, some yellow table, it should be fine. Well tonight, we brought down, I told Wayne we had a great shoot right out of Hampton, went offshore only a few weeks ago for our wintertime sea bass fishing. Oh, I love sea bass. And so we're doing our three pepper shrimp sauce right here. Three pepper right, shrimp right. sauce and sea bass. Amazing. Now let me tell you something. This stuff is absolutely amazing. We're going to go through and walk through exactly what we do. First of all, you got to cut the vegetables. You got to have vegetables. And you got to have what, Wayne? M mushrooms. Mushrooms. You have to have yellow, green, red peppers if you can get them. Shrimp. Fresh as you can get it. You have to have fresh shrimp. Large tiger shrimp large are good. Tiger Peel them to bay if you can get them, which is really good. And uh, what else is in there? You have to have a lot of garlic with a fresh garlic press. That's that's correct. Onion. We also have onion. <laughs> oh, on the Castello. Actually, we learned the garlic press from the Castello Society, which is really cool. We should, we should go on the Alcyon. Now, now the thing about the vegetables that you want to remember is, is the, the order in how you cook these things. Now, we use white wine, and actually, in cooking this dish, I use about a whole bottle of white wine to reduce, um, yeah. yeah to continually reduce yeah. and uh, what you want to do first of all is you want to put some fresh butter about a half a stick and that might sound a lot even if you're on a diet or whatever don't worry about it because it's making a lot of sauce a lot of leftovers and you put the butter in then you add your garlic add your onion add your white wine let that reduce parsley. then you parse then you add, actually not you do the peppers then you add the vegetables because right, they, they're right. thick they take longer to cook so then once then they're cooked, then we have the tomatoes at the end. Of course, the mushrooms went in with the peppers. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome recipe. And the very last thing you do is you're gonna, you're gonna add in your shrimp. A lot of wine. You're gonna add shrimp. And you do need a lot of wine, you really do. It's a, it's a very rich dish. To finish it off, you put a little bit of whipping cream in it and thicken it up just a little bit of flour. And, and, and that's it. And then the garnish, of course, is a little bit of parsley and um, uh, fresh tarragon. And we're using fresh sea bass, lightly fried, very lightly fried, and um, that's it. And you don't want to go spicy on the fried. You don't want a real spicy hot mixture. Mm -hmm. The whole the sea bass is such a rich flavor. You just want to just just very lightly do it. You don't want to overdo it. And this is one and of my favorite is, recipes. This is in the not world. Chilean sea bass. This no, this is Atlantic, Atlantic sea, sea bass. bass. And we love it. Captain Jim Brentfield right out of Hampton, right out of there. And uh, Long Bay Point and, and the best sea bass in the world. Look up the real sea bass. Now, most people in the world, when they think about black sea bass, they're not about sea bass like that. No. We're, we're catching sea bass, monster sea bass, offshore, and also blue tile fish. And uh, we came down here for the Miami Boat Show. We're staying at the Wayne for a couple days. And we brought down the fresh sea bass and did the cooking thing here. Great. And absolutely unbelievable. In this, in this morning. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's, it is really good stuff. You can check out the recipe. Go to our recipe, our, our, our website, jumboutdoors.com, and uh, check. We got all those recipes already in the magazines that we write for. But uh, it's a great recipe, and I'll tell you, once you make this, it, this is like a company dish. Once you make this, you can't get rid of your company because they won't leave. They're like going, no, we're, you stay. We, we got food. This is good. Jimmy, you come down anytime, dude. West Palm Beach, down here. Hey, a lot of fun. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it.